Can you explain the is there the physics of the hitchhiker effect? I know people find that just too far out. You've experienced it yourself. Yeah, and uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Not kidding. The radio, the radio just came out of my backpack. Strange. Okay, no problem. Radio just popped out of my backpack. Yes. Hey, it was tied down. No, it was tied down with a piece of rope. Okay, this is even more bizarre because this was tied down on a dummy cord. And there's no dummy cord on it at all. Alright, so uh, I'm wearing the meter. The meter didn't the meter didn't go off. I don't know. I'm just I'm freaking. The, the, the dummy cord should at least be tied on to it still. What the heck? Oh, it had a dummy cord on it. Oh no, the radio, I didn't... It had a green piece of cable on it that was tied. Oh, I don't... And it popped out... Okay, it... so I didn't see that one. No, it popped out of my it popped out of my bag just now and fell on the ground. I mean, how, I mean, if it if it fell out on its own, how come the cable's not on? Is that your radio? It? Yes. Okay. How come the cable's not on it? I don't know. Reach in my pocket. It was in the in pocket. This? Yeah, it was in the pocket. No, not the zipper pocket. The, the, the water pocket. Yeah. Where's the cable at? There's a green cable on it. Nope. There's a green dummy cord. Only this, that's it. No green dummy cord. I'm gonna look for it. Maybe you just didn't find it. Yeah. It's it, that's impossible for the cord to come off. I mean, it, it came back from New Mexico with it tied on there. Just like your hat. Just like my hat. <laughs> yeah, well, the same big footing hat that I've had for, um, I mean, since 2013. The very first hat I wore, the infamous hat that's been in every video, the hat is also missing. And I had the hat, definitely I wore it around the house and it was back when I got back from New Mexico. So I, I don't have an answer for this. That's why, I mean, fine, I'm okay with it falling out of the backpack, but how come the cord is missing? I didn't untie the cord. Why would I ever untie a dummy cord? Yeah, and uh, and we're out here walking the dog, but I'm also taking advantage of it, putting some some miles in with the backpack because <sighs> just because. And uh, so you know what that means. Yeah, so. Um, uh, the meter I'm wearing, as you can tell, there was no spikes, and also we're not having any telephones. There's nothing. There's no electronics turned on on Mirabella at all right now, uh, with the exception of the devices and the camera, and that's it. And um, it was uh, it was being a little bit active in the first, maybe the first quarter of a mile, but uh, but there's a cell phone tower not too far away from here and that's probably what it was picking up on but the meter was singing a little bit so let's see if it sings on the way out I just didn't film it because I was thinking I just didn't film it because I was thinking that's that that's uh just it's just picking up radio frequency from the tower that's what I was thinking so it was it was singing away coming in so it should sing away going back if in fact it was the tower so my satellite tracker's not running. There's nothing. I, I don't. Even, we don't even have phones at all. <laughs> I don't have an explanation for how the cable got untied from the clip. I checked it at the house. 
and I, there was a cable on it. <laughs> Strange. Like I said, I'm okay with it. You know how you, you know how you shift your weight. You know how you do. I'm okay with it jumping out of the bag because it was in my water bottle pocket. You know, just slid in there. And the dummy cable was on it. And I'm okay with it popping out. I'm not okay with the cable missing. I don't have an explanation for that. I'm going to go take the backpack off. And I'm going to go see where it is. And then Beata said we have to look for it along the way. We will. And uh, for everybody that don't know, uh, this is the Hamptons. Okay, we made it to the little pavilion, and here is the backpack, the thermocells, and it was riding on my left side. So let's see if I can feel the dumb cord. The U.S. patch. I think Chris Reinhardt gave me that one. Still in my pocket. So that went to. New Mexico. There's an infrared Kim light. There's nothing in there. There's no cord in there. Look in the other side. Look on All your right. other pocket. Okay, so I've benefited it out. Let's see. Maybe I'm just stupid and it's on this side. And you took the water bottle, right? Yeah, I got the water bottle from the... Oh, there it is. Okay. There it is, right here. So it's on this side. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so... There it is, right there. And you see? You see how it's tied to the backpack? I could have swore it felt like it hit on the left side. But there it is. You see that, people? That's how you do a dummy cord, right? It's tied... It's tied... No, I picked it up and I looked at it in the house because I tried to put the water bottle in. I tried to put the water bottle in and the radio was in the pocket like that. Okay. Well, maybe it's just with the water and with you walking. Maybe it's just. No, no, no. Hold on. When I was at when I was at the house, when the water bottle wouldn't go in, I said, "Oh, what was that in there?" And so I said, "Oh, there's, there's." I felt the radio, and so I saw the cord and I pulled it out like that and dangled it and looked at it from the cord at the house and. It's untied, and I don't, I don't know how it did that. Tie it back up. Just, oh. just as, just as sure as it is tied right here, it was tied to the radio just the same. That is the purpose of the dummy cord. So when gear falls off of you, it doesn't, it doesn't. You don't lose it. That's the purpose of a dummy cord. Freaking crazy. All right, now that's how it was when I was at the house, and I looked at it, and I realized it was in there. And I picked it up, and the dummy cord and the radio was still tied together. No doubt in my mind, I remember holding it and dangling it at the house and looking at it when I did, when I did that. Put it back in there. And then I put the bottle in. I'm wearing double thermocells, but for right now, for right now, the uh, there's no mosquitoes. Doing well. Oh, that one died out again. Uh, this one's at the end of its life. Okay, so you saw me tie it down. You saw me tie it down. All things gonna happen again. Strange. Oh, the dry spot. Yeah, so once again, I don't have any proof to show you. Only thing I know is when I felt it come out, I that's when I started filming. But no doubt in my mind, I did dangle it from my house. When I put it back in the pocket, it was still secured to the radio. Interesting. So I don't know which one is the driest spot. That one maybe back there. They all got rain. That one... Indy, 
We're not going in the water there. Come no, on. don't drink that water, girl. The water you get in here. And so that's... You're dirty now. Yeah, I'm dirty. Stop. This way, kind of... What's up, sweetheart? Yeah. That's a good girl. Yeah. And another thing I just noticed is... You see how awkward it is for me to get my, my arm to even pull out the radio? There's right there, it is right there. I can't get I can't even get my arm back there far enough to even get enough of a grip on it to even pull that radio out of there. And even if I shifted my load and jumped, you know, even if I shift the load and jump, you know. I mean, it's not popping out of there. Hmm. Wow, that's... I don't have an answer for that, to be honest, quite honest with you. You know what was weird? We were seeing the front, and I'm thinking you're seeing... I'm thinking you're seeing another... Uh, you're talking to a, to a woman back there. Oh. I heard your voice. I could have sworn I heard a woman's voice. I'm talking to myself back there. I'm just filming that I can't even. I'm just filming that I can't even put my arm and barely even touch the antenna on it. More or less, pull it out of there. Hey, worse things has happened. So. I think this looks neat. I'm not saying anything about its uh, footprint. I'm just merely saying it sure looks like one, but it, I am certain that it's not. It's just the way it is. But that's pretty interesting. The little lines and it makes it look like there's toes in there. But really, that's not that's not a print strike. That's that's just freak of nature how that ended up like that because. This is almost like, this stuff right here is almost like it's very hard and concrete. And it was just something that's wearing out. And just so it happens to look like it has toes on it. And there's my, there's my foot comparison. Right here. Interesting. But the road's full of these little holes. And those limestones just chipping away. Hopefully you can see that. But uh, as we... I don't know, probably as we get within a quarter of a mile of the gate... I should start seeing an increase here. Because I had one going out all the way up until when the radio kind of popped out. I think it kind of quietened down a little bit before the radio popped out. But we'll see. I'll just film it. It should be there on the way back. That's all I'm saying is that we should be hearing it increase. I uh, I noticed I was watching a video from Okay, see there it is, as expected. I'd say that's probably a, a mile shot, probably a mile from here.
but it's not peaking like we had that one day. But we had phones with us that one day too. Anyway, uh, I was watching an interview that I think Travis is probably heading back out to the ranch. Because uh, I think uh, that, that one reporter, George Knapp, was doing an interview on him, but he was basically saying some things and reiterated what he had, what they did on the, on the briefing they had out there. Was um, He asked a question about the hitchhiker, the hitchhiker stuff, and Travis related it to the best thing he could also use. Uh, he called it quantum entanglements, what they think there's something to do with the phenomena and uh, I'm gonna try to put that video out if I can if I can get past copyright I don't know I'll, I'll try to do a, an upload with it and if it don't make copyright then obviously I can't publish it but um, it's interesting because he just basically says what he thinks it is as part of the phenomena when the phenomena happens that there's a quantum entanglement it's what they speculate that's going on and so it becomes entangled with you and so it's able to like follow you around but I had mentioned this way back in March when I was practicing uh, ruck, rucksack marching with the weight I had mentioned this also that that I felt that was the best explanation to the behavior um, during these encounters which is uh, let me increase my speed which was uh, spooky entanglement I used it from Einstein was the behavior of it I call it a spooky entanglement they're trying to basically call it more of a quantum entanglement which is the same because Einstein they were talking about particles so it's still on a quantum level so we're discovering things more and more and more about planet earth and if you guys are encountering these phenomena, try your best to find a way to measure them and just put the data out. We got some horseback riders. There you go, some horses. I'll respect their privacy. Yeah, and it's uh, not it's fairly quiet even though the cell tower is close by see But on the way out it was just like singing like that all the way out here, and then that's when my radio fell out But it was like it was like singing Like during the video when you watch the video that I made it was like when I held it up near my router When I was doing it, it was like singing like that But I was like I said I was just thinking it's the cell phone tower All right, so we have line of sight to the gate. There's Beata, and there's the gate. All right, so we have line of sight to the gate. We know the tower is back over that way. And, you know, the meter is not really, you know, it did a couple of times there, but man, it, it was kind of like doing it all the way out here when I was walking. Like, eh. Doesn't seem to be doing it now. And I'm even closer. So, we're just going to let it film. Go see if it starts to sing again. So, in the meantime, just enjoy the, the ride. And y'all don't have to take my word for it. There it is. You see the meter yourself. And it's not really singing away. Although I just don't, I don't have a, any proof of it before the radio fell out. I know now.
There it is. So for everyone that didn't know, yep, they have a camera on you at this gate at the Hamptons. I've long known it's been there though. And that isn't doing it either. Even if it could be a radio, if it could be a radio, and there's the front gate. And the meter's very quiet. So it was not singing now like it was on the way in. I just didn't have the camera running because I thought it was a cell tower. Hmm. My mistake. Alright, back at the truck now. And this is how much effort it would take for that radio to pop out. There was no way that could pop out. But, but man, I'm telling you, look how much effort it takes to do this. It takes a deliberate effort to pop it out like that. But the dummy cable is still on there. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, I've had some people ask me if I do a gear review. I haven't done one yet. Um, that's my backpack that I'm using. It's the TerraFrame 50. So it's 50 liters. Extendable. You can pack it out. The frame is good for, they say, 150 pounds. And it's really a well made bag. There's some serious hip stuff on it. Hip padding. Okay, the meter is still running. Okay, we're going to uh, take care of the radio. The only thing, the only thing I can kind of relate to it, you know, they call it, they have a term for it, it's called the hitchhiker effect, and I put that out in a video uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, the link to it, and the only thing I can describe that's even remotely sort of understood in the physics world, that, that maybe could kind of explain it somewhat, is Einstein's uh, spooky entanglement. But I do realize in, in that particular theory and discussions, you know, those were theories. Back then they were theories. But they were explaining particles. Microscopic stuff. The way these things behave is not something itty bitty microscopic. Um, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I honestly do not know, you know how to explain that other than, other than it. Einstein's spooky entanglement is the only thing that even remotely can I I explain it to any extent, except for uh, things are unwanted and it basically goes and spreads to other other people. Can you explain the, is there the physics of the hitchhiker effect? I know people find that just too far out. You've experienced it yourself. Yeah, and uh, you know, we we are always nervous about talking about the hitchhiker effect because we might stimulate it. <laughs> we yeah. don't know what causes it, but uh, could there be a physics uh, explanation? Well, if it's uh, maybe functioning through quantum physics, there's a possibility of quantum entanglement that uh, somehow whatever describes our uh, consciousness, which is most likely a quantum phenomena, gets entangled. Uh, with whatever the phenomena is and so wherever you go you're still connected to it and uh, that sounds that sounds hokey but we're it's called the quantum measurement problem a lot of scientists are, are, are studying it in great detail and there's been some Nobel Prize nominations for the for the topic and uh, so I think that could be an explanation or at least uh, somewhere in the ballpark 